Ladies and gents, welcome back. Now with rainbow drops and unicorn fart technology in its early stages, the government is turning to electric cars to <laughs> boost their sales. Uh, electric cars are currently a, a very popular item, but um, they're running into roadblocks here with uh, the ability to push them as fast as the government can. Now, the government has only one tool, and that is force, so they're trying to force the hand of manufacturers to do uh, make electric cars available on the market. Under new emissions, this is from back in October, under new emissions plan, BC accelerates phase out of gas powered cars. New plan puts caps on oil and gas emissions, phase out gas powered vehicles and moves to regulate zero emission buildings. But critics, critics say it fails to properly regulate the future of gas production in BC. Uh, the BC government has released a roadmap to reduce greenhouse gas emissions over the next decade, offering an accelerated timeline to phase out gas-powered cars while putting a cap on emissions from the oil and gas sector. Policy experts Leading the climate science say government actions over the next decade will deliver a make or break moment to achieve carbon neutral by a carbon neutral world by 2050. That's the threshold the world must hit in order to stave off global temperature rises by 1.5 C, a path scientists say will lead to catastrophic damage to the world's climate. This is a shift in their models from our previous New York will be underwater 20 years ago. Uh, Gore rewrites, rewrites his inconvenient claim about New York City flooding in a sequel promo. I, I haven't seen the sequel. <laughs> Didn't make much of a buzz. Not many people care. Now, this is BC, the BC government's uh, roadmap to zero emissions vehicles by 2030. The federal government is <laughs> having roadblocks as feds try to boost sales they're pushing for an even earlier number the federal plan is to require that half of all new cars sold in this country be zero emissions by the year 2030 five years after that date all new cars must be zero emissions no gasoline or diesel powered cars after the year 2030 35. That is correct. If you have any questions about the science or policies or politics, email us at ask.cvc.ca. Environmental, Environmental Minister Stephen Gildbalt said that while the goal is the, the goal of this national sales mandate is clear, he's consulting with auto sector and the best way to meet it. Now there's all kinds of problems with this uh, implementation. Uh, you can't just demand that the market do something when the materials aren't available. Now, what's happening around the world here is that people are trying to buy uh, Tesla or uh, even even the big three or European maker um, electric cars, but the cars just don't seem to be available. So we have here, we have sticker shock and shortages but those vehicles are in short supply. Waiting lists are long. Prices are often too high for many buyers, even though the federal government offers, offers purchase incentives of up to $5,000, and some provinces, notably British Columbia, offer similar deals. I'll tell you what, I tried to take, up, take them up on one of those deals. I scrapped an old car of mine uh, and purchased an electric bicycle that I drive to work every day. Uh, when I went to get my rebate, I was denied on a technicality. Thanks a lot, British Columbian government. If you go to a dealership, there might not even be an electric vehicle on the lot that you can test drive. Long told the house. The, this is a big issue with the market. There is just not enough materials to feed uh, this, the demand. The demand is high. People do want these cars. The government doesn't need to force us to take them. People definitely want them. But there are other issues. There's a, a asp aspirational target um, that they're trying to reach here. Where was I? 
not enough places to plug in is another issue. Um, th there just doesn't happen to be the infrastructure. One of the biggest problems with the marketplace for electric cars, people that are on the fence about whether they buy an electric car is uh, range anxiety. That's a fun, a fundamental um, fear for people that are trying to buy these vehicles. People are looking to buy electric cars, but they're, they're not sure that they want to because they may not find a charging station in time or they won't they won't be able to get where they're actually trying to go and again this is this is a technological issue and it's also an infrastructure issue the canadian government wants to push these cars <laughs> um, they're gonna have to wait until the market kind of evens out um, the other another issue with electric cars is just the price of them to buy an electric car. A lot of people don't buy their cars on the brand new market as well. It's not um, it's not always a thing. There's a lot of people buying from the used market and the used market for electric cars is kind of iffy at the moment. Uh, I can give my two cents because I'm, I'm an automotive technician and I, I see people that are buying these electric cars. We're currently working on situations where we can actually um, fix battery cells in cars instead of having to replace the entire battery cell uh, it's notable that a used tesla can be sold for a reasonable price but when people realize that the batteries have to be replaced by tesla as in a complete unit uh, costing usually in excess of twenty thousand dollars us it makes it a little less affordable for a used car in that marketplace so people are still tending to go for uh, hybrids or just straight up gasoline or diesel powered cars. Uh, well, that's all I have for you on that subject. If you want to hear more about about electric cars and the industry and uh, about the technology, I'm happy to talk about that stuff all day long, as well as you can always join and comment about that in the live streams on Fridays uh, at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Join me in there. And as always, keep on trucking.